Hello. So what? What do you want? What do you want from me, Mrs. Scott? Huh? <laughs> you can sit on it. You can sit on it. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. Hi, girls. Time is up. It's time to come back to this fun ground where all the fun begins. All right, guys, just so you know that we are going to, our workshop is beginning again. Okay, we're going to continue our workshop very shortly, just as long as you come back to your colorful, beautiful pot. All right, once again, thank you very much, boys and girls, guys, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us this evening. And yep, our coffee break is up. We are ready for more awesomeness by DG at DG Telco. <laughs> I believe it's one of the DG members who tweeted that, right? All right, guys, uh, we need you to come back because 10 minutes is up. We need you to come back for more awesomeness. Come on, if you're still having a cake and drinking your tea, Okay, do, you can bring it over, but please, please, please take good care of it so that you won't spill any of it on the floor or any of the binis. Yes, thank you, sir. I saw you, you were coming over with the tea and then you went back in. Yeah. I need you guys to quickly finish up and come back. We are continuing with our workshop. All right, guys. That's it. Hello guys, once again, uh, this is the third time saying warm welcome to each and every one of you Although it's pretty cold in here But we do warmly welcome everyone to Digi Wow Awards Workshop Thank you very much Oh, you're here again The one on the red, hi I saw uh, some familiar faces And also one of our speaker that spoke here last week was here with us Jolene Just want to give you a, pay some tribute to you Hi, say hi to Jolene Hi, yeah Ah, uh, yeah, she was here last week to share with us as well. She was one of our speakers and she's back again to just watch, just listen for more coolness and awesomeness. That tells how inspiring we are, am I right? Yeah. And more of our speakers, yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Some advertisement time right now, guys. If you have not submitted any of your entries or have not... Uh, even think of doing that, please do so. DJ Wow Awards is going to have uh, an award presentation and award presentation next month. So, and our final deadline for uh, Century Submitation is actually the 30th of May, which is less than a month from now. So please do submit. How to do it? Very simple. We have a, quite a few categories. Uh, you, can, you can find out all your categories on, online. How do you do that? Log on to www.my, www.womy, www.womy. Is that okay? Everybody understand what I said already, right? So many times I'm saying it, I believe that you already keep it in your mind. Besides that, do keep us, hashtag, uh, to, do tweet us by hashtagging DG, www. Same goes to Instagram, Facebook, and so on and so forth. All right, enough of advertisement moment. Now, everybody is back, right? I believe everybody is back on track except some of them who are still mingling, but it's okay. Guys, last week we had, well, this speaker has definitely made a moment. All right, he definitely found his spot on stage. Everybody found it so mesmerizing with not only, I believe one of the most interesting one was to find out that dinosaur has actually a penis. That was, what, that was a little something that, don't give us that face, that was true. We actually had a small discussion on whether or not dinosaur has a penis. That, yeah, it actually, yeah, yeah, it went, it was quite a thing as well last week. So anyway, besides that, he has given us not only that eight piece and plus eight plus one piece and so many other things, okay? There are so many other things that he has shared. And today, he is back again to make it another remarkable night. Well, he needs no introduction because his words will speak for himself. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Andrew. Good evening, Malaysia. How are you? Awesome. Awesome? Yeah. You know, last week, uh, I had no introduction, so I make a one-liner. I say I'm an old man with a young body with a very big P. 
Okay, you didn't get it. Never mind. All right. <laughs> okay. But this week, I'm not going to talk about any P. I'm going to talk about C now. Okay. Because I feel that a lot of us who are entrepreneurs, I, I was one for 21 years. Right. I went through different, different, uh, different business. Uh, I had, okay, how many of you were here last week? Can I, can I see your hands? All right, so about 20%. Good. All right, so I can't repeat the jokes last week. <laughs> I, I have served in the army for several years, not only doing national service, I was working for my country's Ministry of Defense. I, I've done retail, I have done photo finishing. During those days, Kodak was still number one. All right. And I have done uh, event management. I have done, I even managed a dating agency before. Okay, I was the only guy in Singapore managing a dating agency. All right. Uh, I do have a lot of guys, all right. But I can't promise you they're all good guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm in a stage right now that I love sharing knowledge. So tonight, um, I know all the speakers before me, after me, they have a lot of inspiring story. I like to share with you a lot of best practices to communicate your passion, your purpose, and your progress via social media. Is it okay? Is it okay if I do a little bit of teaching, but I will break it down into very small bite size for you to remember? All right, I'm going to talk about social media trinity. Have you heard of this word before, Trinity? Yeah, some yes, some no, all right? But I'm not going to be spiritual today. Can I just have some warm-up? Can I just ask you something? Is Facebook more like a man or a woman? Not aqua, la. It's either a man or a woman, or you think it's a man and a woman as well. If it is a woman, if, if, if Facebook function like a woman, what is it about Facebook that looks like a woman? Besides changing the mind all the time? Yeah. <laughs> yes? Hey, entrepreneur, you should speak up, right? All right. Remember last week what I say? Public speaking is one of the most important P, all right, in your life. Yes? Expressing feelings. Very good. All right. What else? A lot of gossip. Actually, men also gossip, but we say different things. I bet you're correct too, yeah? Sharing photos. Sharing photos. Moments. Moments. Hmm, okay. Actually, I feel Facebook is like a woman because Facebook likes to ask people this question. What's on your mind? <laughs> Ladies, have you ever asked this question to a guy before? What's on your mind? Have you? Have you? Yeah? Okay. Ladies, yes. Men, have you ever been asked this question before by a woman? Okay. Ladies, on behalf of all the men in the world, let me answer. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing because that's how we function. We have nothing here. When we are gazing, when we are relaxing, we are just relaxing. All right. If we have something, we make it up. Okay, so, but it's interesting because this particular question really generates a lot of response because it opens up a lot of sharing, sharing of feelings, moments, yeah? But have you ever overheard people's conversation before, especially in rush hour after five to seven? Yeah? Have you ever heard ladies when they call their boyfriend, call their husband, before they even say hello, where are you? <laughs> How long you need to come here? So, location and proximity is very important. Am I correct? Yeah. yeah, important. That is the thing that make it fun because of location. All right. Before Facebook was Facebook, do you know that in Japan, there's already an application for a dating agency. If you're a member, you sign up as a member. And the closer you are to another member, your application start beeping. We are members. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So that is how it works. They were already using Solomo to the max. Right. So Facebook is not innovative enough to tell you that uh, they function based on Solomo. And actually, Facebook is not the first one who writes things on people's wall. 
You know who's the first one to do it? The loan shark. Uh. <laughs> you do not answer the first two questions, guys, properly, then this is a very, very uh, difficult question to answer. <laughs> Who are you with? Why didn't you tell me that you're with this friend? Why only say so when I ask you? Why can't you tell me beforehand, right? Now, I'm not making fun of men or women, but I, but I think this is a very question for, for men. Men blur, right? Always ask what's happening. <laughs> what just happened, right? So I, I feel that the conversation style that Facebook has already put in place really makes people interact. Now, here's the thing. Social media is really about three things. Before that, can I just ask you something? I came, I came to KL two months ago to speak at Malaysia Social Media Week. Anybody been there? Some of us? Yeah, good. So, it was so amazing. Two days, we have 27 speakers from 15 countries. We have so many topics. And you know what? Lo and behold, I discovered at the very end of the third day, no speaker has ever stand up and define what is social media. So today I'm going to ask you, what is social media? Okay, I have 10 books today. It's my book. If you can tweak what is social media, all right, you can, you can give any definition. At, at the end of my talk, I'm going to go through everything. And when, if I favor your tweak, you win my book. Is that okay? Hey, is it okay? You all want book or not? Yeah, okay. All right. I, I, I have a definition, very short one. Are you ready? Yeah. Can I just define for you? Are you ready? Yes. I am social media. Wow, why are you so shocked? I am social media. You are so social media. You are social media. Every one of us has social media. You know why? You have content, you have conversation, and you have community, you have network. If you have these three things, you, you fit into the definition of social media. So today, I'm going to share to you the best practices of creating content, managing conversation, and growing your community. So it's okay? Yeah. Alright, so let's go. First thing, I'm going to give you four, four letters for content. Your content must have a good pace. P-A-C-E. What does P stands for? Purposeful. To who? To your audience. It must have some value to the audience, your audience, not to your agenda, not to your timing. You must create content that is meaningful, purposeful, and relevant to your user. Have you ever seen people sharing advertisement on social media? Buy two, get one free, act now. Is that purposeful? Right? If I can find your content elsewhere, why do I need to go back to social media to appreciate your content? Right? So, number one, the first criteria I think good content must have is to be purposeful. To educate, to engage, and to entertain. Next, A, it must be addictive. You must make people come back over and over and over again. Can you create bite-sized information? If your video is three minutes long, can you chuck it down into three one-minute video? Are you able to ask the right question? The what if question, the scenario question. This is a scenario in Singapore. 2030, we're going to have 6.9 million. And everybody was so angry at our government. 6.9 million, we're going to be our job, we're going to be out of the country because we are so small. We are, not, we are one over 19 times the size of Johor. That's how small Singapore is. You put Johor in one. Johor, Singapore is smaller, I think, uh, than many lakes that you have. <laughs> really, all right. So, learn how to ask the right question. What if, or how about this? Ask why not. Don't ask why, ask why not. Don't ask what, what ask what if. Don't ask who, ask who else. What's going on? It's another way of opening conversation, right? Yes? This is the haze. Do you know there's a wonderful song about haze in Singapore? Yeah, go in. You go and find out, okay? All right. Of course, I'm not going to go through this. I had no time. The C word is about being concise. 
Hey, go straight to the point. You know what is concise? Concise means go straight to the point. Don't create an essay when you can say everything under 140 characters. I'm so happy with Twitter when it was first founded in 2006. They insisted that whatever sharing you had, you must be very short, 140 characters. It was shorter than SMS. SMS was how many characters? Anybody remember? 160. 160 is already short, right? 140 is ridiculous. But yet, today we have billions upon billions of billions of tweets. The first three and a half years, Twitter has taken three years to have one billion tweet. Now, every two days, you have one billion tweet. Can you imagine how much content people can generate for being concise? Today, you guys are doing a great job. All these are very content, very concise content. Are you able to speak like a sound bite? If you can say everything concisely like a sound bite, you are fit for radio. When you go for radio interview, they love to extract things like this. One liner is a wow factor. That's why it's DG wow. It must be even more concise. The last thing about the last thing about content is it must be emotional. Are you able to create emotional content? Are you able to make people cry? Are you able to make people laugh? Are you able to make people angry? Are you able to make people curious? Are you able to shock someone? Are you able to wow someone? When you look at this picture, what comes to your mind? How do you feel? Anyone? This lady? Die. Die. Sure die. Okay, that's one feeling. All right, fear. How about this? This side. When you look at this, how do you feel? Courage? Yeah, good. Small versus big. You are so big, I cannot miss. Anywhere I hit, also I hit you. <laughs> right? Yeah? What about this? This picture was taken in Bangladesh when the factory collapsed about a year ago. They went to dig. It was, it was laid upon a story by story. When the photographer came to this stage, they, they, he took a picture, and you know what he said? This is the best picture I can ever find to depict love. Because this was the last thing the man and woman remember to do, is to hug each other. His nose and eyes was big. It was a very goggy picture. If you, if you zoom in, right? It's very terrible. But yet you find it. Oh, it's so loving. I wish I remember. Remember? I remember to do that. Alright. I don't want to be the one. If I if I'm standing under a building and it collapsed and when they found me, my position was doing this. <laughs> yeah, I cannot run away. Alright. You know, can you make people angry? Do you know something? When a person is angry, he becomes a very good writer. Yeah, have you ever quarreled with friends? Wow, they write impeccable English using the what's, what's up. Yeah, when you're angry, when your friend is angry, wow, he sends you wonderful, impressive English. Because he's very angry. That is the kind of content we want. Create emotions. Oh, so funny, angry is so funny. Okay. Montage are also very emotional. Just to introduce, this guy here is our Prime Minister. This guy here is our Chief Opposition. There was a time when the Prime Minister said, we are, my party is the only one that can lead Singapore to the next millennium. Mr. Lo Kha Kiang said, nonsense, Prime Minister. You think you're a very good driver? I am a backup driver. I want to sit next to you. The next day, this picture appeared. Now, let me ask you, do you think our government created this picture? Do you, think the, do you think our opposition created this? No. Who created this? People like you and I, we have a lesson. The more content being created by your audience, the more successful you are. Agree? Yes. Now, next C, conversation. I have five letters. Start. S-T-A-R-T S-T-A-R-T What does this five stand for? Number one You've got to be strategic and yet social Know when to post I know in Malaysia you have a certain time zone that when you post you get maximum coverage The Facebook time In Singapore it's 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning Because everybody is going to work Right Why? Before 9? Because we have a habit Before we start work we have to 
pay respect to Facebook. <laughs> know where to post. If you want to reach out to CEO, LinkedIn is a better place than Facebook, right? If you want to reach out to artists, you should go and join Pinterest. Know where to find your target audience. That is how you start conversation. They all talk differently. So, you may be very enthusiastic, you may be a Facebook expert, but don't expect Facebook to help you to find everything else. And don't expect LinkedIn to be able to give you a lot of insight, uh, insider story, because LinkedIn is really about being professional. It's like your name card online. But you still have to be very social. You still have to, as a person, and I will share to you a lot of examples later on. The second thing is about T, right? You must have be thematic and topical. Learn to break down your conversation on broad topics. Do you have a mind map? What do you want to talk to people about? Are you someone who is spontaneous? Every day, you think about what to say. No. You've got to break down your content into themes, into topics. Plan it, schedule it, and then ask the right question. That is how we should do. Can you think about different teams? And each team has different topics. I can tell you, you can break down a lot of conversation over a year. All right? And you can schedule the tweak. You know, actually I missed my time. I schedule all my keynote on Hootsuite from now. So everything I say will be coming out live from my Twitter feed. So I'm not tweeting, but you will see it there very soon. The A, it's about being authentic and yet authoritative. Singapore had our Youth Olympic four years ago, right? Remember? We have our big Youth Olympic. Four years ago on Twitter, I found their Twitter, um, I, I actually found Youth Olympic Twitter account and I sent them a message, a direct message at night at 10 p.m. I asked them, do you need volunteer? Actually, I wasn't interested in the volunteer. I just test whether, is, is there anyone going to respond to me? Okay. I was very sure no one will respect, will respond to me. In the end, at 11 p.m., the reply came. You know how the reply sounds like? Hey, bro. Thanks for a message. You're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> I was happy for two reasons. Not because you called me a brother. As I said, I'm an old man with a young body, right? I was happy because he speaks the language of the brand. It's youth Olympic. Talk like a youth. What is the language of your brand today? Are you speaking the right language? Are you being authentic and yet authoritative? Are you an expert? Do you speak with assertiveness? Do you speak with authority? Do you speak with knowledge? Do you speak with insights? And yet, you have every emotions, every engagement handles that you can talk to anyone. Make people feel that you are very, very sincere and human. Imagine if my answer, if, if the answer that I got was, thanks for your message, we're open from Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. In case of emergency, call this number. Last week, I actually shared this. If you go and visit our, our mass, mass rapid transit fan page, you'll know that the first thing they tell you is, this fan page is only managed or monitored during office hours. Social media is a 247 thing. When you're on, you're on. You don't even need to lock on. That's why my book is about 247. It's a lifestyle. Social media is not a strategy. It's a mindset, it's a lifestyle. So be authentic and be authoritative. Now, the next thing is about R. Ah, it's about revealing and concealing. Know what to say and what not to say. Don't engage with customer in a very detailed dialogue when you, have a, when you need to do a service recovery. That is not a smart thing to do. Whenever you have a negative comment, you must quickly go offline, settle it, go back online and close the loop. And don't invite unnecessary trouble. All right. Last week I shared about this person. I'm going to share again because eighty percent of you were not around, right? So there was this, there was this, this uncle. He is uh, Tan King Lian. He's one of the, our four president candidate. So he often tells Singaporeans that he has answer to everything in Singapore. So one fine day, nothing to do, right? Uncle like that, okay? <laughs> Do you have any question to ask me? If you get more than five likes, I will answer it. Right? Sounds good, huh? All right? Crowdsourcing, right? And then the minute he said that, somebody posted the first question. Why are you such a dick? 
And he got 58 likes. <laughs> but he didn't answer the question. So in Hokkien, in Hokkien we say kiang jiho ma ke kiang. You understand? Smart is good enough. Don't be too smart. Yeah? You will never have all the answers. So you know what to conceal and what to reveal. The last one is about teamwork. You can't do it alone, man. You need to have a mastermind group. You need to form a small group, at least three. Four. You have, you know, uh, there are a lot of research who says that the best business partnership is three person. Not two, not four, not one, three. If you don't have three partners, find, find two best friends, form a mastermind group, and form a teamwork. This is a very wonderful story. This is a story about a hotel that I have visited. All my stories are not my client, are not my project, they are my own story. I went to Dubai and speak at Dubai Festival City in the Continental Hotel. I reached there, the first thing that, the first one who greeted me was this giant. Okay? This guy is a porter, he's 2.28, he's taller than the NBA player Yao Ming. 2 cm taller. So, I got a shock. He's so tall, he carried my bag, he walked so fast. <laughs> and then he looked at me like this. I looked at him like this. How's the air out there? Is it better? <laughs> he looked at me, he smiled, and he said, Sir, I know what you want. You want to take a picture with me, right? So like all curious Singaporeans, I take out my phone and he stopped me and said, Sir, no need your phone. Use my phone. And I was shocked because hotel staff are not supposed to be carrying phone during duty. Right. But I oblige anyway. So he take take lah. He take out his phone and we take a picture, this picture. And I was asking him to send to me. He says, No, can I have a permission to to to, to post this on our page? On our page, you like our page and you tag yourself. Genius! Five years ago, that was just, I never heard that. Oh, now very smart. Huh? You forced me to become your member, and then I tag myself. I do all the work, and then you get the glory, <laughs> right? What a smart way! Because he is the content. He is the content. So, and everyone will create conversation based on it because he is just a fire starter. Huh? Now, I want to tell you, what is this team all about? I thought that was good. But I have seen nothing yet. At night, I went to the restaurant and I had good food. The big, the big fat chef come out. Sure, how's the food? You know, anything you can do. I know, like, all chefs, when they ask this, they want good comments. So I was asking him for the feedback form. He said, no need. You already our fans. I am very sure. Why not you just key in the positive comments on our page itself? So again, it makes it integrated uh, the CRM, the customer relation management inside. Now, I thought that was good. Next morning, even better. Now the chambermaid, the chambermaid, you chambermaid? Chambermaid also have phone. No? Chambermaid also create a lot of content and have conversation. One chambermaid took a picture of a very big parcel loosely wrapped in the center of the lobby and they posted on the page. Someone sent this parcel to our hotel. We don't know what is it. We're very worried. That's all. Stop there. Wow. Everyone now is thinking, what is inside? Right? At night, I went to visit the page again. Che is a piano. But they created suspense. Now, if they had just posted the piano picture, everybody would say, what's so special about it, right? Now, here's the thing. They are all empowered to work as a team to create a lot of interesting topic revolving around a very simple content. It doesn't need to be very complicated. But there are a lot of things we can learn from the Middle Eastern. They are very loud talker. Now I know why they have so much trouble. The man and the woman, they talk equally loud. Really? Really? And why are you so quiet? Man and woman talk equally loud. No? The speaker talk for 20 minutes, the Q&A 40 minutes. No? That's their culture. And with the first speaker, second speaker, third speaker, seventh speaker, all sit in front. The first speaker finish, he's being challenged by the rest of the speakers. <laughs> Alright, so when he went, so when the first speaker is done, he went back, sit down, the second one comes up. Again, he got the same treatment from one, three, four, five, six, seven. I was number seven. I don't know whether to join in or not. 
later on, I decided not to join in, so I was spared because just because they don't wear in Singapore. That's what not, so they got nothing to ask. But start the right conversation. What is S? Be strategic and social. Right? What is T? Thematic and topical. What is A? Authentic and authoritative. What is R? Know what to review and what to conceal. And what is T? Again, time of sense. I have one last one. I want to talk about con community. Trinity is about having the right content, manage the right conversation, and developing the right community. Community, I have four words for you. The best. B-E-S-T. What is this stand for? Can you find the first group of people, the brand ambassador? How many brand ambassadors of your brand can you find? How many brand ambassadors of your initiative can you find? I know Grace, Grace, the hub. I, I'm very sure every member will be your brand ambassador. Every mentor will be a brand ambassador. All right? They must be empowered to do it. And it is good to develop your own ambassador program. Tell them, teach them, empower them what to do. Don't take for granted that they know what to do, they don't want to say. That's what training is for. When you start to develop, you must engage the brand ambassador in a correct way. All right? Second group of people is your enthusiastic fans. Before February, no one knows me in Malaysia. And now I have maybe about 100, 200 fans, okay? Because I connected with you on Twitter. And it's so important. People who adore your brand, people who never fail to come and support you, all right? Even when you're not doing so well, these are the important ones that you must look out for. All right, that is what a fan page is for. Third thing is about your social bodies. How many of you really spend a lot of time networking? You actually key in the networking as part of your work schedule. When time is up, you go. One, yeah, yeah. So few. Why? Why? How long do you need to finish a box of main card? Six months? One year. One year. Oh, that's very slow. <laughs> Three months. Finish a box of name card. All right. The more times your name card is out there, the better. Social media will not solve all your issues. You still need to network with the, with the right people. All the way here, Scott and I are discussing. Scott telling me, the first year you go to Thailand, do nothing but just go out and meet people. All right. The networking is fantastic. I'm going to try that. Can I stay with you for three months? Just kidding. Yeah. Sleep separate room, okay? Yeah. Of course, the last one. There are many experts here. You've got to depend on technology to help you. Okay? Learn to incorporate Facebook Connect, Open ID, Mass Invite. There's so many things that you can partner. I'm not an expert in this, but I'm a firm believer in technology. So, once again, community, best. B is for brand ambassador. E is for Enthusiastic fans, C, uh, S, social buddies. People that you know offline and become good friends online. You develop better relationship. Really. If you go the other way around, it's very hard. Have you ever go to a place? How, how rarely do you go to a place and you have people coming to you? Wow, so good to finally see you. I've been your Facebook friend for five years. Never met you. <laughs> Never happened this way, right? Never happened this way. And technology. If you want the mess, the rest of them. To me, the, all the community that you acquire based on technology, it's your lowest priority because they are all mass audience. So guys, master your own social media trinity. Okay? Now I'm going to give you this. If you can tweet what is social media to you, from now to the end of the meeting, I will look through it and I will award 10 books to you. Thank you for having me again today. Wow, thank you very much, Andrew. Okay, I'm just trying to slip it through. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Andrew. Okay, let's open the floor for a question and answer. <sighs> very much, we have learned a lot about social media trinity. Yes, Scott. I want to know. Yep. I, I know I have my own definition, but I want to know what your definition is of What's the breakdown percentage between networking online and offline? Between offline and online. 
Okay, I don't know about you, for myself. When I first started out, I spent a lot of time offline, very little time online. But the more friends I know offline, I obviously can't keep in touch with all these people, right? Then I begin to spend more time online. The time I spend online is to maintain existing relationship with the people I already know, not to try to make new friends. I go out, meet new people to meet new friends. I go back online to maintain the relationship. That's how I used it. Yeah, so if you ask me, I think it's 50-50. All right, so, you know, sometimes you got hating, right? There's so many people that you know. I'm sure, do you know that I synchronized my LinkedIn and my Facebook contact? I got 7,000 contacts. My phone was just so full. And, and I had problem remembering when did I meet this person. Yeah, so obviously we talked before, but I can't remember. All right, but of course, I'll remember you after tonight. <laughs> This is very true. When you meet somebody on the street, you might be, who's that? Very I definitely remember her. The yeah. one who tried three times and can't even set up a Twitter account. <laughs> Don't that's, blow my... That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> All yes. right, never mind. Okay, another question. Any other question? One last one. Another question for Andrew. Anybody? Yep. Yes, ma'am. Um... My name is Sharifah. Yep. Just now you shared the story about that hotel. Yes. Okay. And they just say that if you have comments, put it up on their Facebook. So what if people write complaints on your Facebook? Okay. I, in my training, I often uh, empower companies to come up with what I call a response strategy map and the RSM, response strategy map. Okay. It's in my book as well, chapter 29. Please buy the book so that you can <laughs> okay, but I can tell you now. Everything on social media, not only on Facebook, when a comment is in, it's always three categories. Positive, neutral, and negative. Everyone is concerned about negative. But do you know that even if it's positive comment, you need to do something about it. You forgot to amplify it in other channels. When it's a neutral comment, engage in discussion. Make it positive. When it is negative, to me, I always ask this major question. Do I know the person? Is what he says valid? These two questions. Do I know him? Is it valid? Because I know if he's my friend, he will never do that on my wall. He will never do that on my page. If he has an issue with me, he will call me. Anyone who wants to hide behind a phone, hide behind anything, he will post a negative comment. But when I ask to see him, he disappeared. It's a true story. All right, so never be afraid of negative comments. You know what? It's better than no comments at all. That's how divorce happened, right? I'm so angry, I don't talk right here. So when, so when you have quarrel, it's still good. That means you still have chance. And actually, when people put negative comments on your wall, he is saying, I still want you to tell me what's going on. I give you a chance. If you delete, if you deny, if you delay, that's finish. That's how not to do with negative comments. Always acknowledge it. It's okay. Sometimes people just want a chance to talk, you know. They don't even bother whether they respond. Do you think so? Yeah. Yes. So, why are you worried about negative comments? I can tell you, in Singapore, we have one site called hungrygoware.com. Hungrygoware.com. 80% of the, of the comments are negative, but people still go to the restaurant. <laughs> so, why are you so worried about negative comments? I, I, I really don't understand, right? Of course, not everybody like me, so I have, I have accepted it. All right, do you know what happened to me? My own Facebook account was being duplicated, and if you find a John Brisley, they are all my pictures. <laughs> I have a stalker in my life, and it's a man. <laughs> I wish it was a woman, I feel better. You know? <laughs> but tonight he's not here. Lah. You won't dare to come here, yeah? All right, so I hope I answered your question. All right, read chapter 29 of my book. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, having a stalker is better than not having one or, I mean, a positive stalker. But anyway, thank you very much, Andrew, for sharing with us so many things on the social media, Trinity, or not only that, but 
he, you know, one thing about Andrew, he is really good in promoting himself. He's definitely speaking what he's doing. Don't you think? He's doing what he's speaking. Yeah, because you can see in his slides and everything, you can see once in a while you can see his face. Once in a while, he, when he, he puts a topic, he has his face to endorse it. You no, know, it posts and everything. You realize he always does that, right? Very good ambassador of its own. And besides that, he really knows how to angle down and put, framing every concept. Like, if this is on the Facebook page, I'll like, okay? Thank you. <laughs> nice one, Andrew. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Let's do something different. Now it's a time that we have been learning a lot about social media. We have been learning everything. It's quite texty, right? Everything has been on theory. It's been all about concept, principle. Now, we're going to jump into a different genre, into a slightly different genre. Now, now we all know that we have invited a YouTuber, right? Cow, cow, we call cow, cow in the house. She's not the moo moo cow, but she's a very hot cow. <laughs> All the way from Thailand. Now, although she's a Thai, but she is very well diverse in every other different culture as well. Well, we, if you all, if you are all very engaged with Anuhaseyo, Kamsamida, Saranghayo, all with the Sawadi Ka and also, you will definitely know her, I guess. She is none other than the very hot, beautiful, and in person, she's actually not a diva. Very nice to know that. A K-pop cover artist, Cow. And right now, she's going to bring to us an awesome surprise performance. Remember to raise your phones, grab some pictures, take some videos. Ladies and gentlemen, the stage is for you.